أَلَمْ تَرَ كَيْفَ فَعَلَ رَبُّكَ بِأَصْحَابِ الْفِيلِ Have you not considered, O Muhammad, how your Lord dealt with the companions of the elephant? Now the rest of these surahs mainly deal with certain aspects of the early period of the seerah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. First of all, Surah Al-Fil. The very famous incident that took place, and that was the year when Muhammad was born, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Amul Wilada. It was 570 or 571 Christian era. What happened at that time in Yemen? Yemen was governed by the Abyssinians. And from the king of Abyssinia, there was a governor, Abraha, in Yemen. These were Christian, these people. They were under the Roman Empire. So this person became very envious of Kaaba, that people from all corners of Arabia go to Kaaba to pay pilgrimage. So he built a very high cathedral. so that people should come here. But no Arab came there. They kept going to Kaaba. So in fury and anger, he, he decided, I'll destroy Kaaba, demolish it, raise it to ground. So he proceeded with a very big army, which had some elephants also. He himself was mounted on an elephant. Now this army came from Yemen till Mecca. Nobody in the way could check them. It was a very big army. And the elephants for these people of Arabia, something new, what is it? So frightened like anything. Then he, you know, stayed outside Mecca and sent a person to Abdul Muttalib, the grandfather of the Prophet Sallallahu He was the chief of Mecca. And he said that we are we have not come to fight you, only we want to demolish this house. The answer Abdul Muttalib gave was also we can we can't fight you. We don't resist can't resist you, you know. As for this house, this belongs to Allah. If he wishes, he will save it. And then he requested for his two hundred camels that the army people of Abraha had looted and plundered, which belonged to Abdul Muttalib. And Abraha said, oh, I have come to destroy your sanctuary. And you are more mindful of these camels of yours. He said, I own the camels. So I am thinking about them. I don't own this house. This, this house is owned by someone else. He will take care of it. So when they attacked, what happened? Alam tara kaifa faal rabbu kabi ashab al fil. Have you not seen how your Lord dealt with the companions of the elephant, the army accompanied by elephants? When it was coming forward, at a certain stage, the elephants sat on which Abraham was sitting, and they tried everything to goad it, but it didn't move. Then, you know, swarms of small birds appeared from the site of the Red Sea. And they had very small stones made of baked clay in their beaks and feet, and they threw them. And these small pellets, they acted as bullets. Most of the army destroyed. And whosoever could have an escape on way back, there was, you know, an epidemic broke out of smallpox, of measles, pustules all over the body. 
and Abraha and all the people, they perished. This is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saved his house. أَلَمْ يَجْعَلْ كَيْدَهُمْ فِي تَضْلِيلٍ Did he not make their plan into misguidance? أَلَمْ يَجْعَلْ كَيْدَهُمْ فِي تَضْلِيلٍ Did he not make their plan go astray? وَأَرْسَلَ عَلَيْهِمْ طَيْرًا أَبَابِيلٍ And he sent against them birds in flocks. وَأَرْسَلَ عَلَيْهِمْ طَيْرًا أَبَابِيلٍ And he sent against them Swarms of birds, flights and flocks of birds. Striking them with stones of hard clay. Striking them with the stones of baked clay. And he made them like eaten straw. And thus he made them like the straw which has been eaten up.